she wants to go back in the warm and she wants what's under my foot yeah afternoon world I'm afraid today's video is going to be meagre pickings because this cold has really dragged all the energy out of me but um, instead of doing nothing I will do a little thing um, and that little thing to start off with is going to be a few thank yous um, I'd like to thank Colin Nichols Neon Smith for some stuff I sent us um, this is from Colin Colin sent us a sign to put on the gates to warn folks about cows and calves. That's much appreciated, thank you much indeed. And uh, Mr. Smith did exactly the same thing. He found the ones that I've been looking for. And he's got me a pair of those. So thank you, Ian. And thank you, Colin. All very much appreciated. And I'm really quite nice because we've got three entrances onto the farm. Two that are commonly used, so I'll put the big ones on those. And the one that goes over the bridge from the other side of the golf course, which is a lot less commonly used, at least coming into the farm. So we'll put that fella there in there. So thank you very much indeed. Uh, we've also had another gift come in, and I've been desperately trying to remember the name of the guy who sent it. Basically, hold that ball. I've got a, a roll of uh, six mil blue rope. And... A load of green netting. Not, not, not unwrapped yet, I don't intend to unwrap it just now. Um, the green netting is the same stuff I believe as what we already use for the windbreak on the barn down there and basically the gentleman who, he actually rang me up, I had a conversation with him as well and I know he messaged me but I can't find the message. I've been on my messenger, I've been on WhatsApp, I've been on messages, I've been on Instagram and I can't find the message stream so I'm really really sorry that you're not getting a mention. Um, the only clue I've got is on the order form of um, the bit of paper that came with this. And all I'll say is it's from jackal.r. So jackal.r, if that's you, and your email, thank you very much indeed. If I can find um, the details, or if you want to remind me of your details, as and when we put that net up, because the idea is we'll use that if we can't get our Yorkshire board up this year we may well put that up as a stopgap to keep the weather out of the barn for time so it was a very very well um, appreciated idea thank you <sighs> yes the cold has got hold of me um, I've not suffered this badly for I don't know a couple of years then I suppose last year we didn't get any colds we didn't go anywhere so the immune system has been down a little bit Lots of people um, suggesting I have hot toddies and stuff like that. Well, I could, except I don't drink much. I just don't like it that much. I know, I know, it makes me odd. But we already knew that, didn't we? Um, but I kind of decided yesterday that I was going to take Sunday off. Oh, see, today is Sunday. So, so yes, nothing very interesting or exciting today. We'll have a quick wander down the barn in a minute, just see how the cattle are. Um, I, I was, I had intended maybe to mix up that concrete and fill up those post holes. I oh, still have energy. Sometimes you're better off just giving in and going, all right, I'll just do your worst for a day. Um, gather up and really start again tomorrow. <sighs> so, tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, the builders are gone now for a week because there's nothing else they can do. The plaster's got to go off um, pink before they can finish decorating, although upstairs is already painted because that went off fairly quick, the plaster up there. Um, so we've got the Sparky coming back in tomorrow, starting second fix, and I believe the plumber's in sometime this week to fit the shower tray. I think that's what's happening anyway. Um, Dave will call down and see them at some time or other, so we might see him in the week. But yeah, so whole new set of contractors in there doing their bit this week. I'm hoping Tim's gonna come back um, 
and we'll get the rest of these concrete panels up, which is where I kind of need to do this concrete in, but it's going to be tomorrow. Um, and then once that's done, get the holes drilled for the barriers because we forgot to do it on Friday, get them up and basically set the barn out. Um, I've got to go and get a, a service box for our water tank. I've got a spare water tank which I'm going to put in the barn for the cattle. I thought I had a service box with a warcock in it. If I do, I can't find it. So um, I need to go to Mall Valley and get that. I also need a three foot gate. Um, you'll see what the three foot gate's for when we fit it. So, right, okay. That's the babble out of the way. Was there anything else? No, I think that's everything that's came. So net, rope, signs. I'll probably put these signs up tomorrow or next day. I was thinking about doing it again today. Just don't feel like doing anything today. Right. I'll turn it off now and then we'll go down and look at the cow. Okay. Oh, the air at least is fresh and nice. It is quite nice to be outside. Anything new going on here? Anything that happened in the last couple of hours? Not a lot. It's always worth having a look because they tend to drop cars and just tuck them in corners. Nothing out there. No, just the one sat in the corner over there. Other three are outside. Got it, I think. You've got enough for tonight. And a fresh one tomorrow. It's actually quite a joy watching the cars at this age. Being outside, it's so unusual for us to have young cars outdoors. This time of year, because usually the cattle are all shut up because it's too wet. <coughs> Excuse me. But they actually get to stretch their legs a bit. So we've been enjoying watching them galloping in and out through the golf course gate. It's, it's a joy. It is a joy. Right, where to next? I've got to find something to talk about. It's boring. Where's your, where's your, hey, where's your rats? Where's your rats? Where's your rats? Hey, where's your rats? Where's your rats? Rats. Find him out. Wizards. 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 God, you at it again. Eh? You just love it, didn't you, eh? Eh? Yeah, you're not having any. Nope. Nor are you. Go away. All right. I get a distinct feeling. They want feeding. Right, I'm coming back. Right, get away. Move it. Mind. Go on. Go on. We'll keep the chicken planters happy anyway. Go on. What are we going for today, ladies? We can have a bit of brown or bit of white, white, oh yeah, white, okay, white it is then. I don't give them the crust because it takes them so long to get over it, so, right, come out. There you go, that'll keep you busy. One, two, three, four, there you go. That's the easiest way to feed them. Sorted. Ooh, lovely, make a bit of white. Pepper so desperately wants to be Biscuit's friend. And Biscuit's just not interested. <laughs> Jezebel. Hey. And as for her, what a blooming attitude she's got. Princess Blinking Bee. Sometimes, if you stand here quietly, you can see the odd rat darting about out here. Still not quite dark enough from yet, but. We might. You never know.
to write on the tree. I might just put the camera down and leave it there for a minute and see if we can catch him. Well, I've no idea. I will have no idea until I get back up on the editing whether I picked up Mr. or Mrs. Rat that was running up and down inside there or even if he's still in there. Can't see anything. So. Ratus dravagicus. Brain rat. Tree rat. They've got lots of different names. We just call them the common brain rat, but yeah. Always get a few around poultry. And feeding them bread, well, I kind of encourage them. So the thing is just not to overfeed. Have too much waste, because then you'll get more rats. I don't mind a couple. I just don't want lots. I just come back down to put a light on, ready for tonight. I don't put all the lights on, I don't see the point in putting all the lights on. As long as I can see enough from our, my bedroom window down in here, I can I can look down actually into the shed from my bedroom window, it's quite convenient. Uh, I borrow if I hear something bellowing or upset or in distress. I can always have a quick look at the window first. I start, if I can't see what's going on, then I come down. But they all seem pretty peaceful. And I think we're in for another nice sunset tonight. All right. I think the only thing left to do now is say good night world hope you enjoyed your weekend and i'll see you on monday